Hi there. Welcome to Octave Lessons with me. This is lesson 1.1 and in the future there will be more uploads that will help you to have a smooth journey if you are new to Octave or if you are just trying to refresh your memory or if you want to advance your skills. I am just a chemical engineering student, graduate and I want to share with you my experiences and what I've learned throughout my journey. What is Octave? Octave is a software featured at high level programming language. Octave helps solve linear and nonlinear problems. It can be downloaded on their website. Octave has a command windows and an editor section, which can help execute coding. Simple exercises like this, I will show you how to execute them on both command windows and editor file. Help function can be used to explain which that is not understood on Octave. CLC is used to clear the screen. Now, Octave is case sensitive. If you use capital letter CLC, it will give an error response. And if you use small letter CLC, Octave will give you what you um, coded, which is a clear screen. Now, if you have installed Octave onto your laptop, it should look something like this. I prefer to minimize my screen to be able to see um, my problems that I need to solve on Word or on my PDFs and the Octave screen. Do it however you wish. This is your command windows and your editor section. Um, now let's execute that which we were talking about. The first one is one plus one. If you execute one plus one, it should give you a response. When you press enter, which is two, and you can use your calculator to prove this is correct. If you use 5.6, 5 plus 6, press enter, it will also give you an answer. If you say A is equals to 0 0.1 by giving a the alphabet a number, if you add anything plus A, it should give you an answer. So for example, if A is 0 0.1, then A plus 1 should give you 1.1. .1. The same thing continues. If you say A plus another number, you should get the same response. Now, what happens if we say A is equals to 5? Here, it didn't give us a problem. It just cleared the above A and changed the A. Now our new A is 5, and we got a response when we added A plus a number. But in normal circumstances, in normal cases, you want to press clear or clear all just to erase all the saved memory from your Octave um, previous practices so that you do not get an error answer. It's just um, good coding practice. Now let's go to editor section. I like to shortcut with edits. I love edits, especially when I'm writing exams. It makes my life easy. I just write everything on edit, but I just make sure I save before I do anything. And then when I just copy and paste that side, my work looks neat. There's no errors. And if there's an error, I just CLC, fix on the editor side and go and paste that side. But editor um, function, the editor page is actually used to run Octave. And I'll show you more when we're solving um, serious math problems. For now, you can just write on your editor all the problems that you want to solve. 1 plus 1, 5 plus 6, A equals to 0 0.1, and A plus 1. You will notice that it won't give you a response. Even if you press enter, it will just take you to the next row. When you save your work on Octave, you use m.file. If you want Octave to calculate all this for you, all you have to do is press run. And this is also an advantage because if you go back and open the file, you can see what you're working with and you can easily find the work. If your Octave closes, if anything happens to your laptop, your work is saved. If you copy and paste this on your command windows, you will get a very nice answer, you know, in a very, very well presented form. A percentage symbol in front of your statement, you're just telling Octave to not calculate that. It's just you making notes for yourself on your Octave file. This was a very, very nice short um, introductory video to Octave. In the future, I'm going to show you more about Octave. I will help you understand it and stick around. You'll be very comfortable around Octave according to your syllabus and learn ahead. Thank you for watching.